Have you ever wondered where these crazy Canucks keep their hot rod? Well, this is Dan Mercier's Hot Rod Home. Let me take you in and show you guys around. Now, Dan's race car shop just doesn't include drag racing hot rods. Dan's into a lot of different things, and this beautiful boat is one of them. Now, I don't say that this thing goes out on the water a whole lot. Matter of fact, probably can count on a handful of times this badass boat has been on the water, but man, what a beauty she is. And he just doesn't have boats. He's got all kinds of different hot rods, but this race shop is a state-of-the-art facility. Now, you think Dan just drives the long skinny ones? Well, that's not true. He also has a nostalgia funny car that he runs up, mostly exhibition stuff up there in Canada and the local tracks and things like that. But man, this car is absolutely stunning. Now, this is Dan's A Fuel Dragster. This thing's been over 280 miles an hour. Now, it compares real closely to the top fuel car, but it is nitro injected only it does not have a supercharger now dan's just not a driver dan's built a lot of the components for this car including this injector and matter of fact this carbon fiber rear wing that's right he has built this wing himself now driving one of these cars is a lot like driving a top fuel car except when you get to half track the old top fuel car kicks in again and has about five and a half G's in the middle. Just like, matter of fact, more than when you take off from the starting line. Now this is Dan's top fuel car. This is the car I'll be tuning this year at eight events in the NHRA schedule. Now when you're looking at this thing, there's not too many components on this thing that you can't throw a $5,000 bill at to buy. You know, the blower's 10 grand, the injector hat's six. It just goes on and on. Now, what's kind of cool is that most of these boxes that you see here, they all go inside the trailer and the support trailer, and they go to the racetrack. So when the cars come back from a race, all this stuff is unloaded, and all the different components are worked out of these individual toolboxes. Like this one particular box here does the blowers and part of the manifolds. Another box might do the short blocks. Uh, another box is where they service the cylinder heads at. And another one on top of that does the clutch stuff. Now this is Dan's second top fuel car. This is the first top fuel car that he had bought from Terry McMillan that we put together and he campaigned it for a little while and now has switched to his current top fuel car that he has now. Now, one thing about running top fuel, you need a lot of parts and the parts are not that cheap. But hey, check this one out. You guys seen one of my videos before? I made a blower and I turned it into a salsa maker. Yep, this is the one. Now, this other blower that's here is pretty special because it was actually signed by uh, a friend of mine who owns DMPE, his daughter, and she told me this was the magic blower and we actually won 2018 U.S. Nationals. Now, tonight is the dedication of this race facility. It's big grand opening and Dan's asked for a hundred of his friends to come over and we have a special moment tonight that we'll talk about here in just a little bit and that's the unveiling of that flag. Tous mon mon année collaboré dans dans ma vie personnelle de ma vie tous. Um, merci aussi aux équipiers qu'on peut appeler supplémentaires. Now Dan was nice enough to give me some cheat notes so I could understand what the heck he was saying. Now, the talent pool here is pretty deep. And you know what makes great race teams? And that's great people. And that's definitely how I've surrounded myself here. 
Now that flag I was talking about, that was for Barry Payton. We called him the captain. That's how Dan got his top fuel license was in Barry Payton's car. He'll forever be missed. Now I ended my trip in the wheel of death here in Montreal, but hey, would you all like and subscribe and please wish us some good luck in 2023.